I get asked all the time in world capitals, at fancy parties, at big award shows, and all the other sort of bright, shiny places that people like me show up, they're like, what are you still doing living in Minnesota? And the reason is very simple. I like who I am here better than the idea of who I am somewhere else. I'm Andrew Zimmern, and this is my North. In this park, uh, I've collected a pound of morels. I think it's the top of the eighth or ninth. There's a family of deer that lives up there, and I come and I'll play early in the morning before going to work sometimes. Uh, you'll see the family nibbling at trees, you know, as your putter goes into the chains. It's beautiful, and like so many things in Minnesota, we love being outdoors. And I think one of the reasons that I love this sport so much is that that walk in the woods in the Walt Whitman sense, communing with nature and being at one with the world around me. And I want to go to a fancy party in LA, you know, invariably I'll find myself there. But I'd still rather be, you know, up at the lake with all the neighbors coming over because I've staked out 20 walleye that I've marinated overnight in miso and sake leaves and I'm doing my version of a shore lunch inspired by a 700 year old Japanese fish roasting technique. Whenever I come home, I feel like I'm a raindrop entering the river and it's and that's the natural beauty. That's the relaxed vibe of the people. I'm clear headed. I'm the best version of myself when I'm walking the course here or, you know, taking a, you know, a boat down the St. Croix or being up on the boundary waters with friends. It's just it's here in Minnesota for those that want to avail themselves to it because the lifestyle is friendly for those of us that are seekers. The most well-kept secret about Minnesota is that December, January, and February, it's 70 degrees and sunny. And we put up that whole winter ruse so that other people don't come here. 